welcome to Barball Brigade. I'm Gio. I'm Charlie. Salam hi. And I'm Lou. Oh, damn, that was an easy one. All right, how do you guys get someone that's on the fence about working out into the gym? You can't. Damn. You can't. Never. You, you can't. can't. They're never going to go to the gym. You can't. No, come on. That's a definite answer. That's yeah. not true. Because I have a I'm friend. Trying, I've been trying to get him to the gym. I haven't gone. All right, Charlie, you seem like the sensible one. <laughs> how do you get someone on the fence? Uh, you, What you do is you... Get them a ladder? Yeah. Folks. That's good. <laughs> getting people in the gym get is... Get out. Getting the gym is interesting. So if you have someone that's on the fence about training, uh, say they have family members or friends that train, and have them invite them. Because as an authoritative person, like if you're speaking as the gym owner, right? Uh, you trying to get them might not be as encouraging if they have people from their own support system try to bring them in. Um, but if it was like you're the opposite role, like you're the family member trying to bring the person into the gym, maybe don't uh, maybe don't take them into the place in which you train. Find something that they can do and feel comfortable with, and do that first. So, for example, say like uh, like my grandfather wanted to get back into fitness, like he golfs and does stuff. I wouldn't bring him to come do powerlifting or CrossFit or like weightlifting right away. Like, hey, do you want to try this like yoga class or stretch? Not that yoga is easy, but more like a hard. step class or, yeah, yeah. or just something that's more a little his, less intimidating. Less intimidating, his level. And he might advance it and go like, hey, maybe I do want a deadlift, but I think you have to meet people where they're at. And I think that it could be intimidating walking into a gym Absolutely. like Warriors Fitness or to Super Training or to Barbell Brigade. Yeah. And you get someone they're like, well, honestly, their first hesitation even walking in is, is acceptance, right? Yeah. And they might not feel accepted if they look different than everybody else. Well, you go, a gym is a place where you go to look better, but to everybody else, as they come in, all they see is the fit people. They, even if there's people that are overweight or, or still trying to work on their fitness, they don't see those people. They see the front end people, like Lou, like Mike, like me, like you. And they might go, Shit. Well, like me and you. <laughs> yeah. And they might go like, uh, I don't know, like that's, that's intimidating. So I think bringing people to somewhere that's comfortable for them, and then eventually once they become, it becomes habitual for them to train, transitioning them into new things. That would be my like articulated way of saying it. Why I say you can is just like uh, anything else. Like you can't, um, you can help people lose weight and you can guide them, but you can't decide for them. You can't, can't bring be, a horse to water, but you, you can't be 24 seven uh, watching them what they eat and making them eat this. Uh, you can't convince someone to work out. You can't convince someone to like powerlifting. Uh, the only way that I've ever done that in my life. But they're already on the fence though. The fence, I think it's still their call, right? Yeah. Uh, and so like the only way I've ever tried to do anything in my life is just lead by example. There you go. Uh, so exactly. I train this way. I like this. Sister, just kidding. <laughs> got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> so the only way is that I like uh, do what I like to do. Do it really well. Do it with passion because this is what I want to do. Do I it like with that. fun. I fucking I'm an idiot. I dance in the gym. That's I joke true. around with my idiot. friends. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, that's good. All we try to do is then oh, uh, uh, Fat Nadim's never worked out in his life. He's like. Man, Lou and Mike have a lot of fun. Like, I, th I think maybe I'll just go mess out with them. Uh, but I will agree with Charlie's back end, where he said like golf to maybe walking golf if you ride a cart yeah. to maybe yeah. tennis or something yeah. like this. I like your answer yeah. a lot too. Yeah. But like, I love powerlifting. You love lifting weights. You guys love powerlifting. Um, but I have a mad respect for people that just like yoga. Like yeah. whatever you do, just fucking whatever you love, dive in and go Zumba. hard. Zumba, like dance your ass off as long as you're moving. Yeah. Dive in Twerk and go sanity. hard. Uh, and that's what I just try to do with powerlifting. So hopefully I inspire you to just dive what you love. Yeah. Rather than like, hey man, powerlifting, come powerlift. Powerlifting's the only way. Powerlifting's the best way. <laughs> your powerlifting sounds like Sunday, Arnold. Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> 8 p.m. brother. You there, but what brother. about So I have I have kind of a, a case here. Um, with what? my sister, whom I love dearly. Mm -hmm. Was it just her birthday? Huh? Was it just happy birthday? birthday, sister? No. No. Oh, that oh. was a friend. I think you saw. Happy oh, birthday, okay. friend. Yeah, happy birthday, friend. Um, <laughs> with her, I love her dearly, and I, of course, I want nothing but the best for her. And she's on the fence yeah. about working out, but she's lazy as fuck. But she's yeah. seen you pull three three hundred and thirty pounds. She doesn't want to go and do yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. she doesn't right. want to do that. That's scary. Do that. But then yeah. it's like. It's like I I, I know her, I know she can be amazing, and it's like, what do you like? Should I pull back? Like, should like do I just no, let I her kind of fall on her face? That's, that's, that's what I think. That's what I think. I think it's about small steps, you know. It's not so much like the way I like to think about it is like teaching a kid how to do something. You know, the first thing that you want to do is getting them comfortable with it. I think that's the most important thing. 
Um, and once you do that, you want to set goals. Like, what do you want to do? Just stay somewhere for 10 minutes. And then from 10 minutes, make it 20. And just take small steps. Like, you want to take smaller steps towards a bigger goal. Just set small, okay, really, and easy goals. Yeah, goal without yeah. going way too much of a tangent. A lot of positive feedback as well. A lot of reinforcement yeah. is that you have to also apply. Without going on too much of a tangent, if I was to have a conversation, uh, I wouldn't try to uh, convince somebody. But what I would try to do is ask them why. Right. Right. The why to everything yeah. is why we're doing this. Uh, why? Because your family uh, didn't take the healthiest path. You want to do this and lead by example, and you don't want to go down that route. That's a very similar story to me. My family's a little uh, overweight. They don't very exercise. So why? I do it uh, so hopefully I inspire one of them to take a healthier path. And so when I'm having the conversation with Lou, yeah. he's like, well, like, why do you want to get into fitness, man? Or like, why do you try to find a new hobby? Well, because like uh, I was heading down a bad road or uh, because I have a lot of energy and I don't know what to do yeah. with it. Uh, Charlie, why? Well, because I was inspired by my parents that I did it. I want to inspire others. What if I it's a help bullshit people. why? Like they, I'm trying to get back at someone else. Well, then it will never happen. Yeah. They don't never happen. The I, why is why we do things. Yeah, and I think that's really good. I think uh, situationally, if you're thinking about your sister, there's also that sibling bond. So for her, she might also see it as your thing. So it might Maybe. be not a resistance to training, more like that's what you do, that's kind of your thing. Like my brother, me, and, well, one of my brothers that I'm uh, fairly close with, he trains bodybuilding. Like I use it for accessory work, but the whole thing is he's like, we are two different paths, CSCS, exercise physiologist, like thinks a lot. I call him a scientist. He's not, he just thinks. Um, I'm not thoughtless, but I'm not really <laughs> worried about the way that I train. I just train to have fun. So when we get together, sometimes we, if I allow it, we can clash just because we come from two different places. But what I've done is I've, I've just sat back and say, okay, what do you want to do? So maybe getting your sister into the gym would be a reflection of like what I spoke about earlier. Like maybe it's you guys go in the morning with the dogs and just go for a walk. You know what yeah. I mean? And you bond yeah. like not only uh, physically through the exercise, but then you also have the chance to have conversation. And you might not like walking, but if it's what she wants to do, that might that's lead her down true. the road of saying, well, you know what, maybe I'll come try deadlift. Yeah, and I think that's gonna get them comfortable too, you know, just like making something something really easy, whether it's like a hike, walking your dog, because you could get very like personal with that. You, you can uh, get like uh, to know them a lot better. And just like he said, it's like, she might not like it, but, um, you know, with doing something really easy like that, it's gonna be, she's gonna feel accomplished like that, you know? Lou's really good at that, uh, going to Barbell Brigade. He's like the- He walks the, around. Well, he's like the welcome committee. Yeah. He's, and he makes people feel comfortable. Yeah, I mean- uh, I, And that's hard. Yeah. Uh, they've obviously already jumped the fence, like they're already in, because they took their guts they, and like, I'm going to this intense maybe he's Barbell Brigade. No, but he's 100% because he's so welcoming, he's so understanding, he's so connected. I, I think it's more about your mentality and just like you said, it's, so a lot of these people don't even know what they're doing sometimes. They don't even, they've never been to the what gym. What are you doing? They've never played sports before, but um, I think if you make, make them feel comfortable and welcome, that's going to be a huge step to make them really commit. And just being encouraging. Every time you tell them, every time I see them, I use a lot of positive reinforcement. I'm like, hey man, you came back today. Like, good job. You know, that's a huge step. That's more than a lot of people can say. That's amazing. Like, what? And a, and a testimony to Barbell Brigade, you guys do have that because I've been able to see that in satellite situations where even within my own gym, there's a group of people that train at my gym that wear all the Barbell Brigade gear, they train, they're inspired. So there's a whole nother element too of that uh, inspiration, aspiration of greatness. When you have something really, really good, inspiration, it's aspiration cool of greatness. to, to have Damn. like people in your gym be fired up. But then when you can have an effect internationally, right? People outside of your reach, um, and it, well, technically they're in with, within your reach, you, you uh, proximity is different. You get affect them in a positive way, then they become leaders in their own. It's kind of like building sure. your own little tribe. You know what yeah. I mean? I feel like we've been able to do that with our gym and with Caffeine and Kilos as well with the things that we're trying to do. I think that's very important. And it's a, a testament to what you guys are doing. Same thing with Smart ST. man. Smart man. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching so much. If there are any burning questions that you would burning? like for us. Burning? Go to questions. a doctor. No, burning <laughs> questions, not burning body parts. For your burning questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Until next time. Deuce. Deuce. Well, I've been playing sports since I was like five years old. Um, I don't think ping pong's a sport. <laughs> what, what sports? Oh, I'm good at ping pong. Ping pong's not easy. You well, take that back. I mean, I played lacrosse. It's an Olympic sport. It is an Olympic sport. It's got more than power. It is an Olympic sport.